The score is 1 point to 0 for PXG against Munich, and we find ourselves in a tense situation situation where Kunigami has made Shidu his little puppy. Since Shidu has obviously become the main character, PXG is of course now absolutely useless as Charles, the little goblin, has played to him again and again. The chapter starts with Karasu going one-on-one -on -one with Jin, both Zantetsu and Raichi cheer for them to show the biggest balls. While they fight for the ball in an absolutely erotic position, Charles joins them followed by Hiori, also wanting to get the ball. I think Hiori has developed a little fetish for Charles in the last few episodes, as it feels like he does nothing else in this game but chase him and wants to beat him at all costs. While he was doing this, he was the other moves and situations that were going on in his head. So while Ichigo and Shidu were fighting, he also thought about the side characters like Nanase or Zantetsu. But this simple thinking does against such monkeys, especially not in Blue Lock, especially not not when he's facing an imp like Charles. He has to read between the lines, which means just knock him down and get a yellow card. But seriously, I wonder why there are so few fouls or offsides in Blue Lock. Those two are actually so essential and happen so often in real soccer. In my opinion, Blue Lock lacks a Sergio Ramos or Pepe who just straddles people and always gets a card. But however, Karasu still has the ball, and now he's also being attacked by Grim the Reaper, or as I call him, the Sasuke Uchiha of Blue Lock, and his tactics work. As he now has two whole people on him, he passes the ball to Charles, who is currently being covered by Raichi but is easily overtaken. When Charles receives the ball, however, he's now confronted by Kaiser and Ness, who naturally want to give little Charles a good whacking. Meanwhile, Rin has lined up to his right, and is expecting a pass. But Charles is all psych, bitch, and shoots the ball far forward to pass it to Shidu, which of course nobody expected. But femboy Hiori read between the lines and was able to intercept the ball well. And not only that, he also made fun of the 15-year-old, which is why they were now on the same level again. We remember when Charles not only took the ball from Hiori, but also handled it against his will. This is now his big comeback. Charles, meanwhile, just has this typical anime character look with the dark eyes and thinks to himself, Im him bro, I'm the main character, I will kill you. Meanwhile, Rin is also thinking, boy do you have problems, while Shidu continues to shit his pants, and Kaiser still has the James Bond look on his face. Isagi noticed that the atmosphere was changing a lot and that Hiori was slowly taking control of the game. But of course, a badass game isn't badass if it's not Raichi Jingo or Bakugo with short hair. Tokimitsu was on his balls though, and it was a battle between two physically strong players, which only lasted a short time as he passed the ball straight to Hiori. Now that you're thinking, oh shit, here comes that triflo Isagi was talking about. The next comeback comes. Because Karasu came back from the dead and now also had black eyes, he is a good friend of Hiori's, so of course they both knew that there could only be one true gamer. But not only that, because both Nanase and Zantetsu joined in, and it was now a three versus one. But Femboy Hiori wouldn't be a Femboy if he could make a no-look pass into the centre of the penalty area. And it wasn't just a random pass, but a targeted pass to our favourite egoist, Isergi Yoichi. What do you guys think? Will Rin get fed up and pull out his Glock 18? Even though he's the nod one, he hasn't even gotten the slightest bit of attention in this game. I remain curious and still hope that Gagamaru will score a free kick goal, but we won't find out until next time.